it is a challenge over here. Some of the boats are not good at all. They link about and when we go in, the machine gets spoiled on the way and we have to be on the river for, uh, for some time. And then we'll call for another boat to come and take us. So when it is time for us to go there, we fear. Teachers trying to refuse posting to such places. Yes, we do. Because of all these things that we are facing, when they hear of it and um, they, 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 they are posted to this place, they don't want to come. You are positioned here to ensure that people comply with the rules governing the Volta River. That is your mandate. Yeah. And right under your watch, this man just moved. People are not in the life jackets and you just watch him move on. Before they will enter into the boat, I tell him to tell the people to wear the life jacket. According to him, he said that the people are not feeling to wear it. Because I was not having any power, I just watch. But your job is to do what? To insist that they wear it. But so why didn't you insist? I insist he didn't, he didn't insist it. enough. He, Some teachers are also here with us that are about crossing the Volta River to their various schools. I've had quite some frightening experiences, which scares us. And sometimes we even want to just get a transfer from the place. What are some of the experiences? Let me just break it down. From leaking of canoes to overloading. The anthem here is if you tell them, hey, the canoe is overloaded, they'll just tell you, hey, um, here in Ada, we've never had a canoe capsized. With the leaking of the canoe, it's serious. It's serious. We'll be, we'll be in a moving canoe. And if you see how water rushes into the canoe, and that's not the only thing. That's not the only thing. We get to the middle of nowhere, and then the canoe stops. Sometimes they'll tell you um, fuel is finished or that their machine is spoiled. If it was a car, I would have alighted and then pick another one. But this, I'm in the middle of nowhere. Where will I alight? So I have to be in the river till maybe another canoe comes by or we don't know how. That's terrible. Very terrible. Do you and sometimes uh, regret accepting posting to such places? Yes, yes, I do. 100% I do. You, you are fortunate to have a life jacket. Let me engage this man now. Young man, come. He, her life jacket looks different from what you are wearing. Is it a proper life jacket? No. It's not a proper life jacket. For how long have you been using the, this life jacket? I've been using this life jacket for three years. Now I'm being told it's just for fashion. It was provided by GS. GS gave you this life jacket? Exactly. It was given to our schools and since we were posted here, the school also gave them out to us. But this man who has been trained to ensure that lives and properties are protected here says that it's just for fashion. And nobody has ever told you this? Nobody. And if he's here and he's trained, he knows we have island schools. So maybe their duty is to come to schools at least to check if the life jackets the teachers are using is proper or not. Because me, I don't deal in life jackets. I wouldn't know if it's a proper life jacket or not. I, I, I just got to know this morning that it's for fashion. Oh, this is terrible. Mm. That means you failed in your responsibilities here. I don't want to be hearing the word you feel in your report. You don't want to hear that word, but unfortunately, I would have to use the word because if your job here is to ensure that people that come here, I mean, comply with the rules, lay down rules, and for one year you've been here, and this lady for the past three years has been using this. I mean, come on. So if she's clear that she's wearing this the past three years, and this people work for just a year now. Under which ministry do you work? Minister of Transport. You work under the Ministry of Transport? Yes. And you've been here for how many years? A year now. 